right, so it came from there. I guess this is the only way to go. And those are some big ass rats. When the world goes to shit, if we ever have a nuclear apocalypse or anything else, it's gonna be rats, pigs, and cockroaches. I can pretty much guarantee it. Because pigs are smart little buggers and rats can rats and cockroaches can feed on pretty much anything. Actually, come to think of it, so can pigs. Let's head up the stairs. That's bizarre. <laughs> Little buggy there. Fire axis required. Okay. Uh, not gonna take that rebar bent. Another small pipe. Huh, there's a television in there. Alright. Thomas! Thomas! Answer me! What's happened? We heard an explosion. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's just a fuse box shorted. I seem to be trapped over here, and I believe the suspect has my gun. What? How the hell did that happen? <sighs> here, take this fire axe and chop your way out. You can always find an entry tool somewhere around to get you past barriers. You can even use things like an axe or a sledgehammer as a weapon. They do a great deal of damage, but they're slow. <clears throat> Swinging a lead pipe bus heads faster if that's what you prefer. Thanks. Yeah, you need the tips. Becker and I'll go around the other way. Try and stay in one piece. Oh, and one more thing. If you find yourself in a sticky situation, use your taser to temporarily stun your target. If you're close enough, you'll find it a great way to disarm the slug of his weapon. So, another piece of uh, melee fighting we learned about. Tasers. And they stun. Now there was a fire axe door over here. Let's go ahead and use it. We can unlock an achievement with this thing. I have no idea what that has on it, but... We've unlocked the bronze detective badge achievement. Yes, there are achievement televisions in this game. Who would have thought TV would actually be something productive? <laughs> but then again, it's an achievement, so what can I say? That is some pretty thick wood right there. Just checking for... wow, that's dark. Checking for birds and stuff. Go and chop through the door with this fire axe here. Dude, what is your problem? I know you're probably high as hell on stuff, but that's no reason to throw chairs around and destroy property that's already kind of crappy. Alright, you gonna be nice? You're gonna be nice, okay. <coughs> Now are you going to come after me? That's the other question. No. No. Bastard. You know what I do to guys like you? That's what I do. sit on you. I never actually saw that episode. It's only, um, I only know that from the Gmod Idiot Box. <laughs> Great series. Very stupid and slapstick, but, uh, it's very amusing nonetheless, and it's good to have a laugh, at least every now and then.
But there's nothing really all that funny about Condemned. No, sir. Not in the least. I'll pop a health kit, why not? We got plenty of them around here. Knowing how to block is vital when facing tougher enemies. Well, I kind of figured it was much. There's someone over there. Can't open that door at all, so we'll have to wander through here, I suppose. Hi. Well, so much for the lights. Oh, great, there's someone behind me. Uh, was that really necessary? Ooh. Wow. It's probably a big split in his face right now. That looked like it hurt. Hi. You, uh, you want to stick that conduit back in? Nope. Yeah, I'll end this quick. Good night. He's definitely coming from that way. Hello? Anybody? No? Okay. Oh, another bird. So many flies. Yucky. What is this? I guess there's a hole in the floor there. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't chop up much of anything else down, so... Let's go ahead and... Explore the rest of this. Oh, what do you know? There's a sledgehammer in there. Oh, and a metal piece. Okay. Hello. I like that little prompt. Otherwise, I never would have known that was there. Let's try out this sledgehammer, shall we? That takes forever to throw. <laughs> right, now, why do I need a sledgehammer, though? Well, it's nice to see some progress we've made. Hiding spot. No, thank you. I'm straight. Um, I would say nice hiding spot, except I can see your arm clipping through. Are you part ghost or something? Hi. Well, that was full full of fail. Let's go! Come on! Wow, nice block. Ow. Let's make this easier for me. That's better. What the? Okay. That's random. Door over there randomly exploded open. I'll take it. It's a way to progress. But first, I need a health kit. Because I'm hurting. I can still walk, but I'm hurting. And that door's closed. Uh, let's check and see if we can go back. Probably not. Nope. Alright. Well, so much for the health kits. Lordy, it's getting dark in here. I think my flashlight is dying or something. One of the things with the flashlight, it's nice that it's infinite, but oh, 
Ow. Hi. How does it feel to be on this end of the gun? Not very nice. But listen, you bastard. Don't mess this up for us. We are both on the same path of righteousness. Thomas! <coughs> and the path takes strange turns. Freeze! Police! Drop the weapon now! Be ready for death, Agent Thomas. It shall come visiting again. Ow. Yeah, I, oh, crap. Okay, then. <laughs> well, if you want to take a look at stats, here you go. Jeez. Let's go ahead and continue to the next chapter, shall we? Wow. That was, uh... That was not good. Internal Report 230. Strange bird deaths throughout city. Summary. Bodies of dead birds now litter city streets and public parks. Hard-hit areas have reported literally thousands of bodies, while other areas of the city have seen very few birds at all. Bizarre. Use block to your advantage. Duh. <laughs> I wonder what's wrong with the birds, if there's some sort of epidemic or something going on. But anyway, cutscene. Are we back at home, or...? It would be nice if that was all just a nightmare. <laughs> now that is not a face I want to wake up to. Jeez. Uh, Hello, hello, Ethan. Who are you? What is going on? Calm yourself. My name is Malcolm Van Horn. I was a great friend of your father's. Yes, I remember you. A long time ago, but why are you here now? Last night? Well, I was nearby. An unfortunate scene. You did your best, but it could not be helped. The detectives? They're dead. Shot with your weapon, and you will be blamed for their deaths. What? Ridiculous. I'll just tell them- What? Tell them the truth? They have already decided the truth. This is insane. I can't just give up the Bureau. It's already been taken from you. Now join me and help yourself. Open up. It's the police. Take your bag and head across to the metro station. I will meet you later. Major Thomas, you know you're in there. Open up now. Okay. Ethan, you must trust me. I am here to help. Now go. What's your business here? My name is Malcolm Van Horn. I'm an old friend of the family. He invited me to stay here, but he must have forgotten I was arriving today. Well, please stand clear. We need to search the premises. Well, that guy's full of it. <laughs> But at least we know, at least we think he's on our side. I don't know if we can actually trust him yet or not. I need to be careful that the cops don't see me. I'm not sure that's how actual keypad doors work, but uh, I'll go with it.
Alright, it's getting a little dark and I'm out of the way, so I can use my flashlight again. <laughs> Whoops, I forgot I can't jump. Yeah, you can't actually jump in this game. You have to uh, use prompts for a lot of the maneuvering around stuff. Other than that, it's it's mo it's mostly melee focused, and um, the way they set it up is pretty darn cool. Okay, that wasn't creepy at all. Hey, look, it's pictures of me. Isn't that just wonderful? I'm still here. Thank God. I thought they would have suspended my lab access. They still might. It hasn't occurred to them yet. I didn't kill those guys. I know, Thomas. Well, I'm not certain what I do or don't know, but I'm pretty sure I still trust you. And that goes a long way. Understood. So, what about the photos? Well, no standing on ceremony then. Huh. It's a picture of you, Thomas. In your apartment. I remember that hideous sofa from last year's Christmas party. It had to have been taken from across the alley. From within the metro station? It appears so. I'm also seeing smudges across the face of the photo. Locate a good sample and transmit it to me. Okay. These photos were processed here, somewhere within the station. That would be my guess. Well then. And I heard people... Hi. Grab this crowbar, shall we? Gordon Freeman it up a little bit in here. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh hell. Wow. Okay. Apparently that guy had kind of a weak heart. <laughs> Warning, people can die to the taser. And the trademark cheese doodles. Or cheese poos. Yep, those were very prevalent in Fear 1. Good old monolith. Both of us have three. It's not worth it. Not to me, anyway. Especially not since these weapons have uh, extra uses. All a pistol's good for is killing. Crowbar and the shovel, they have some uh, neat little things going for them. I hear flies. Hi! Go ahead and grab you. Is there anything over here by chance, or...? doesn't look like it. Alright. Well, I think what I can do is grab a weapon just in case. I don't know if we can actually use the shovel. Actually, I can't even go back because the door closed on me. Oh well. I don't think there's another use for the shovel in this part of the level, but uh, I could be wrong. Uh, wow, someone was... Uh, Messing with streetlights? What were they doing in here? Interesting. I 
Let's go ahead and head upstairs then. Anyone here, or is it just, uh... It's rather empty. Is there anything around here by chance, or...? heads downstairs. I think that's where we came from as well. So, okay. Oh, nice to know that it loops back around there. Hello? This is Thomas. It's Van Horn. Listen and be quiet. I don't have long. The police are not searching, or more properly destroying your apartment. They seem to have no faith in your innocence. But I am innocent. I know that. You must prove that. One more thing. Special talent, a gift that very few of us have. We haven't time to discuss this fully, but trust your instincts. Rely on them. I must go now. Remain alert. I have a gift, huh? I would be interested to know what this gift is, but, um... I guess we'll figure out in time. Can you go through here? Yes, we can. And that is looking like a very dead clock. Oh, med kits if we need them. Uh. What the balls? <laughs> what? Oh god, what is going on? Uh. What? What the hell just happened? That was very bizarre. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> oh. Pardon me. I guess I need to self after all. Jeez. Another crowbar, because I need that. Not. Well, that was bizarre. Ooh. Wow, I knocked out some teeth. Damn. Okay, then. Well, I think I'm going to leave it off here for today, so I hope you guys enjoyed this session of Condemned Criminal Origins, the Halloween special of 2014. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, everyone. Bye for now.